Hey everyone, this is Joy for Yogini here. It is time for Intuition Wednesday. This is where you get to practice your own intuition. So I choose one of the decks and today I'm, I'm choosing from the Animal Wise Tarot deck. And I'm gonna pull, or I just pulled before I started this video, pardon me, I pulled the three cards. And I'm gonna show you the backs of the cards to start. And then um, you're gonna be able to tune into those backs of the cards and see if one or more of the cards has a message for you. So the, I guess the, the inspiration that you're looking for is just to see if your body, uh, your emotions, your thoughts that come in, do they give you an indication, some type of indication that this card may have a message for you? If you feel nothing with a particular card, it just might mean that that card does not have a message for you. There might be a message uh, for you in one or maybe even all three of the cards. So let's just see what happens. So here is card number one. I'm just going to show you the back of the card. Look at the back of the card and see if anything stands out for you other than my shoot super short nail. In the winter, my nails just break. I cannot keep them long. <laughs> that is okay. So just see if any part of the card is standing out for you. Anything comes to mind. Maybe you feel expansiveness. Maybe you feel um, things feel more closed for you. I'm just trying to give you some opposites here just to give you an idea. Whenever you're ready, close your eyes and tune into your body. See if the energy from the card is connecting with you in a particular part of your body. I usually get connections in different chakras. So chakras are different energy centers within your body. There are seven core chakras. There's more than that, but there's seven core chakras. But uh, if you don't know what a chakra is or where they're located, it doesn't matter. It's just where are you feeling it in your body? Observe the thoughts that pop into your head. And hopefully I held that long enough for you, but you know what? You can pause it, you can rewind it, you can uh, pay attention to that card for as long as you like. Okay, so card number two, here you go. So first, just look at the back, and obviously it looks exactly the same like the other one, because it's just the back of the card. Whenever you're ready, close your eyes, tune into your body, see if anything comes to mind. Pay attention to your five senses. And I would love for you to write in the description below um, the types of messages that you got. Let's share it with each other. We'll help each other to grow our intuition. I think it takes confidence and courage to be able to do that. There is no right or wrong. It's just whatever you're getting because the way your angels and guides and your higher self is going to communicate with you might be a little bit different than how someone else's angels and guides are going to communicate. But by us sharing this, it could help us to stay open with the type of communication we might be getting. So here's the last card, card number three. Pay attention to the back of the card at first. See if anything stands out. Maybe a different part of the card stands out for you than the other ones. And then whenever you're ready, close your eyes, tune into your body, and see if you feel the energy in any particular area of your body. Pay attention to the thoughts that float in. And again, you can pause this video and just concentrate on the card for as long as you like. But that's all three cards. So now it's time for the reveal and I'll do the basic message that comes with the card, but then I'll see whatever else that might want to channel through. Okay, so I am setting the intention that whatever messages come through are going to be perfect, perfect for those who got messages for these individual cards. And uh, I want to tune in to the energy of the individuals who got messages with each card, just so I can provide um, a channel message to be able to offer assistance, inspiration, motivation, any type of guidance. So the first card that uh, came up was Elephant, Justice. Ancient powers of justice are at work here. So an elephant, they're actually incredibly emotional 
beings. It, it's pretty incredible. Family is really important to them. They, they take care of their elderly. Um, their trunks are spectacular and they don't have the best sight. It's they really, they, their, but their sense of smell is so acute that they, they use that to feel their way around the world to determine what is right for them and what's not right for them. And that's how they experience life mostly is through their scent, uh, their sense of smell. And so what's really important, the message that elephant can have for you is that right now, don't necessarily trust what you're seeing right in front of your eyes or what is obviously happening, the results that you've been getting. Don't necessarily focus on that. Be open to using your intuition to tune in to the underlying happenings. Okay, because there's en energy that's going on. And even if you're not necessarily seeing the results of something, it, that inner knowing will tell you that things are happening. And uh, trust that you are creating magnificence right now. You really are. You have planted seeds and those seeds are growing. And maybe you're not seeing the results right now but things are growing and happening. So it's really important for you to stay within that, um, that place of knowing and trust. And with the elephant en energy, it's also important to know that your, whatever, your fa whatever you would consider your family unit, that is strengthening right now. It might be shifting, it might be shifting into a new direction, and it might, it might look a little bit different or it might just, um, the look for some of you might be the same, yet the strength is growing. Elephants, as I said before, they take care of each other and family is extremely important. So just look to see how your family unit is adapting and melding and um, how that is going to help you to move along your path because you are meant to be following or to be aligning with your soul's purpose. And you've just gotten some new information here. And that brings us into card number two. So if card number one, if you got, if that resonated with you, card number two might resonate with you as well. Not a guarantee, but uh, you can let us know what type of messages that you got with card number two. So card number two is magpie. Proper use of secret knowledge. So I started talking about how you've received some information, but you might not have the full picture yet. You might have got an indication that, ooh, this might be good. And like, for example, I did a meditation last night and uh, I got some images during the meditation, but it was really afterwards that I started getting these pictures, these quick little movies playing in my mind's eye. Uh, and some of them were like, whoa, really? Are you serious? Like they were a bit shocking. And, um, but from having this card, this card really resonated with me because it only, it gave me a flavor um, of, potentially what could happen in the future, but it's not, it's not the full picture. I think the purpose of the flavor that I got was to help me to move forward with where I am right now, because the images that I saw, that could potentially be a future thing or it might not, but the flavor of it is helping me to move forward. So be careful what you do with the information right now. And you might not necessarily share it with other people right now. You have to use your intuition as to if you're going to share certain things or if it's best uh, to keep it to keep it safe. But just know you don't have the full picture yet, but it can help you to move forward right now. Card number three is Crow. Unexpected magic and energy. So those of you who resonated with this card, there is an energy surrounding you and surrounding your projects that is magnificent manifesting or generating energy. 
And this is this makes it super important right now for you to really focus on what you want. Focus on the energy, the feeling, the emotion of what you want and be open to how it might unfold because it might not look exactly how you initially were picturing. So be open to a path that is going to be surprising and amazing. Like what I'm seeing in my mind's eye right now is going along a beautiful trail and actually there's snow on the trail. So it is like it's this time of year Yet I'm seeing cherry blossoms. <laughs> I'm seeing these beautiful uh, trees, these cherry blossoms coming out. And that is, that's unexpected, right? This time of year, at least in Ontario, Canada, you're not going to see cherry blossoms and snow because it's not the right time for that. But that's the type of magic that is out there. So it's about being open to the incredibleness of what can happen, of what can unfold. And you are generating that. You are generating that from you aligning with you and you believing in you. So it's you can create some pretty, pretty awesomeness or you've already started on creating that awesomeness. So tune in to that magic and to tune into that magic energy. I think it's important for you to take some quiet time, take some quiet time, maybe do some meditation, maybe journal or do some automatic writing. But uh, this energy is prime. It's ripe. It, it's beautiful for you right now. And I think March is going to unfold in spectacular ways for you if you keep on trusting, trusting in that energy.